Getting the perfect picture requires the perfect setting. Our world contains a vast number of settings, each with their own unique habitats and ecosystems. In each habitat, millions of species live and thrive each day. As humans, we try to protect the environment and minimize the effect we have on animals and plants. This can be quite challenging, especially with an ever-changing world. But this is where maths and science come in. Using population sampling methods, we can predict and safeguard species from going extinct and help them continue into the future. Plants are the backbone for all life on Earth. They take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen for all living organisms to breathe. They also purify water. As there are many plants in an area, it is impossible to count them all. To simplify our search, we use population quadrants to count the number of plant species within an area. We first divide our area into several squares or rectangles. We then count the number of that plant species within each sector and add the values together. Using the formula P equals NA over AQ, where P is the population of the plant species, N is the total number of the counted plant species, A is the total area of the region, and AQ is the total area covered by the quadrants. We can then predict how many plant species may be living within that area. Animals have been decreasing in population in recent times. It has thus become remarkably important to get accurate data and know when to intervene. We cannot use quadrants as animals move from place to place. For this reason, we use the mark recapture method to calculate the number of animals within a region. First, several animal species are captured and tagged. They are then released back into the wild. After some time, we catch a number of the same animal species from the area. We then see how many of these recaptured animals are marked. Using the formula n equals mc over r, where n is the total population, m is the number of animals initially marked and captured, c is the number of animals caught in the second sample, and r is the number of tagged animals within the second sample. We can then estimate the number of animal species living within an area. Using this data over time, we can set up protected areas and intervene when populations seem to decrease. This allows species to thrive and allows other countermeasures to be taken for the prevention of species loss. It's amazing to know that with just a few numbers, we can have a real impact on the diversity and image of the world around us. Protecting species is just one way we can ensure the healthiness of the environment for generations to come. Our world needs maths, so we can continue to preserve the world and achieve the perfect picture on our cameras.